During the last presidential campaign, Joe Biden said he was going to end fossil fuels and jail oil and gas company executives. Uh, but, but kiddo, I want you to just take a look, okay? You don't have to agree, but I want you to look in my eyes. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, we're going to end fossil fuel and I am not going to clock it. And one of which is doing away with any subsidies for fossil fuels, number one. Number two, holding them liable for what they have done, particularly in those cases where you're underserved neighborhoods and you, you know the deal, okay? And by the way, when they don't or when they're deliberate, put them in jail. That's what I, I I'm not joking about this. I'm not joking about this. Presumably, this did not include his son, Hunter Biden, who took millions of dollars from a Ukrainian gas company despite not having any relevant skills. Now, the elder Biden wants to punish oil and gas companies once again. Previously, Biden wanted to jail oil and gas executives for producing oil. But now he wants to fine the same people for not producing enough oil. This all may seem a bit confusing to people with a functional brain, but 79% of Democrats approve of Biden's climate and energy policies. The partisan divide in America is rather remarkable. Fortunately, the very articulate Joe Biden is able to summarize it in a single word. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was going to put him, uh, foot, foot, excuse me. Toto's father spent most of his life around liberal Democrats and he gave up trying to reason with them decades ago. They will believe whatever they read in the New York Times or here on NPR. Any other information makes little or no difference to them. Dogs, on the other hand, tend to be very rational creatures. You can visit Toto, Kyrie, Caesar, Toki, and Upla on the web at realclimatescience.com.